So you're looking to have something like a stream deck for your setup, but you don't want to pay for it? I've got you today. Make sure you stick around. Darkensiris.com before we get into anything, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for notifications to see more content like this. Hit that thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. I do stream over on Twitch three days a week, uh, as well as do some other popular things on that channel. Join our Darkness Discord. The link for that is in the description below, as well as all of my social media stuff. I'm Cyrus, and welcome to the darkness. Let's get into it. So today, I'm going to be talking about a Android app that I found that worked on a really old tablet that I had sitting up in the attic. And I did not think that this was going to be an option because I knew that old Androids don't update past a certain OS and they stop getting support. So I figured eh, I might as well give it a try and find something that would work without me having to purchase a stream deck and still get some of those opportunities of scene switching and music control and a whole bunch of things from just controlling on a tablet. So the app that we're talking about is Macro Deck. Macro Deck is a fantastic app for the Android tablet or phone, but it also has an accompanying PC application that runs in the background, and that's how you're able to configure it. I'm actually in my streaming setup right now to go ahead and show off some of the things it does. So I'm going to take you over into the program and show you how I've set up my macro deck and some things that I do for each of my streams. All right, so I've got you over into my live scene. I wanted to go ahead and show you the website. It is macrodeck.org. That's where you're able to download the software to be able to do this. The app, just search it on the Google Play Store and it should pop up. I have it in Android 4.0, which is, uh, I think, Ice Cream Sandwich, and that's as far as my tablet would go. But it does support that, which is, which is great. So I'm gonna show you this app and everything that it can kind of accomplish. Within this, you have a bunch of different opportunities where you can make folders. As you see right here, it's a three by five grid and you can actually edit this under settings and go to grid and you can increase this to essentially whatever you want. You can change orientation to vertical to horizontal, even though it says horizontal orientation is not yet available. You can turn your tablet and it still have the buttons, but you can make this as many columns as you want. You can set folders within folders. You can make the start with windows. Uh, you can change a bunch of different op options within this, but I wanted to show you a few of the things that I like to use with this. So here's my main splash page and if I can pick it up from here I'll show you that here's okay so here's the tablet let me switch back over I'll go to my animation screen so here's the tablet um, as you can see everything that you see on the program which you see in the little butt window right here is on the tablet as you can see this is some old old tech um, but everything here is controlled through here and you also can see I have no USB connected You can USB connect this to your computer or you can just go through Wi-Fi and I just I find it easy to go through Wi-Fi So anyway, let's go back over to the live scene and you're gonna see some of the things that I normally do um, So I have my main splash page with some condensed things So I actually have Spotify integration Twitch integration as well as OBS you can do Twitter and make it send out a message for you or pre like a pre canned thing but I'm not a huge fan of sending out just a hey I'm live come check me out um, hopefully you've done that promotion beforehand I've done it before but I haven't seen a lot of people push from there uh, so you do need for OBS the WebSocket plugin I'll put that in the description below so that you can download that into your OBS for Twitch, it gets a uh, authorization key and Spotify, it has to be a premium account to be able to link. But once you do that, you put Spotify on your computer and then you have full control. So on my main splash, I have a play pause button. I have a volume up and down, which I can control just Spotify's volume up and down. You're able to do uh, text things. And so I'm actually have this linked to some of my uh, custom commands through stream elements. So YouTube, Discord, I uh, have my Activision, I also have my join code for Destiny. So if people wanted to play with me, I can quickly hit those buttons and it display that directly to chat. 
I have a global and then also a one that DMs the people. I have a clear chat button just in case something dumb pops up on chat. And then I have my three screens that I use often, which is my live, my intermission, and my be right back. I also have a weird one called Control F7. I don't know why I haven't changed it. But what it does is it mutes my party chat to the stream as well as mutes my mic in Discord so that I can speak directly to stream and the stream doesn't hear the party chat either. It's useful for some things. And then I also have a toggle mic mute um, I have my OBS set up to when I switch to a be right back scene it automatically pulls the microphone but this is sometimes very useful when I just need a quick mute uh, also within that I have a OBS folder and a twitch folder as well as a Spotify if I go into the OBS folder you can see I have my start live intermission be right back and end scenes all of them to where I can quickly access them with the return I have toggle recording here and then toggle streaming here under spotify i have next track a whole bunch of stuff and this is where i've threw away some of my text things to where i can find them i need to clean this up a little bit and then under twitch i have all of the text chats i can actually play an ad directly from this so i don't have to have stream studio up um i think it's really uh clunky especially since i run a two monitor setup i run obs full screen on a vertical monitor and it's just so useful to leave obs and not have to continue to switch windows it also keeps it where i don't have to mess with spotify by using this as well some other things you can do you can check out all of the options as you can see they have just it's a crazy amount of things you can do within this. Um, you can control browsers, you can have soundboards, system, you can do web requests, you can run programs from this. It's not just for streaming, there's other things that you can do. So what I want to encourage you to do is if you have an old tablet and you're wanting to switch your setup to be able to use a stream deck alternative that's completely free i highly highly recommend macro deck it hasn't crashed on me when i was in the middle of the stream all of my buttons have worked just fine and i was actually really concerned that it would crash but it didn't so do i recommend this yes if you have an old android tablet or if you just want to use your phone this is something that is backwards compatible for, I know, like I have a tablet that's 10 years old that did it, and this one's like maybe 11 or 12, and it was able to download it and run it just fine. They also put up on their website, I'll switch back, that they have a second version of this coming up. Uh, that's a little bit more reliable. Um, it has a few more options that this one doesn't, like Streamlabs OBS integration. Unfortunately, this is only for OBS right now. Um, so there's a few things that you can do with the new version that's hopefully coming out. And But this is a fantastic option if you just have an old tablet sitting around. Guys, this was a quick one. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you throw a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you check me out over on Twitch. I stream three days a week. We have a lot of fun. We actually just played Marvels on stream last night. It was fantastic. Uh, join the Darkness Discord and ask me any questions that you might have. Uh, there's a technology section and a whole bunch of things for you to connect with our community and join our fantastic set of streamers that are just hanging out in there it's wonderful so check me out wherever you can social media everything's link is in the description below and i think that's where we'll do it i'm cyrus and welcome to the darkness peace